Hello, hello everyone. I'm Laura Jean. You're on my channel, Laura Jean's Wreath Room. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so I'm going to try to make a pie. I've never made a pie before, so wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I'm using this Dollar Tree um, cake pie tin form that they have at Dollar Tree. And this one has the top see-through cover, but it has these handles on it. I don't want them on that, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that. Mine didn't have them without this. I'm just going to round it out. And the next thing I did is I am I took a Dollar Tree foam board and I cut this down. Now, normally, I'm not, I don't want this to sit on the bottom of the tin. I want it sort of up higher in the middle, but I don't want it on the top because what I'm putting in here, I want to be a little bit above. And see, it's still not the right shape. I still got to cut that down a little. So I'm going to use my foam mark and I just keep... It's hard to get that exact measurement. So I'm just winging this. <laughs> like I do everything just about. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit smaller. Let's see if that works. Now see, I got some spaces. See, I want it to sit down so I have a little bit of a lip right here. Um, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. I think my glue gun's on. And I'm using a low temp glue. Um, the hot glue gun is on low. Ow, burnt myself. All right, that doesn't feel like it's on low. <laughs> that felt very hot. Anyways, let's get this in here. Push it down. And then I'm going to go ahead around my sides and glue it again. Is this on low? It feels hot. Now, because I have gaps where if I pour something liquid in here, which I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to use a candle on this, uh, melted wax. It's just going to all pour down in the, into there. So I'm going to take my saran wrap. Oh, it just ripped. Really? Let's try that again. right over here and I'm gonna push it right down into that glue I just put down in there because I'm gonna try to pour a melted candle on here it's actually in the oven at 185 degrees melting and I'm using this Dollar Tree I'm just using stuff I have uh, I want at Christmas time my craft room that has tons of open stands shelving to be like a bakery. So I'm trying to make cakes and pies and cookies and all that stuff to go on my shelves. So you can just buy on Amazon um, little um, wax pieces and melt them down. You can get a bag of those. I'm just using the candle. So I put it in the oven at 185 degrees for 15 minutes upside down and I put it um, on a baking sheet with tin foil, parchment paper, and then the candle upside down. And I've never done it, so I'll let, we'll see if it comes out. If it came out, you're going to see this video, and if it didn't, you won't see this video. <laughs> All right, let me just cut that because these scissors, i got to sharpen them. All right, I'm going to turn that up. I'm 
Now, the easier way to do this is you could just put some felt or even paint it on top. But I don't know. I, I for some reason, want to use wax. I think this gun is on hot, so let me see. So I don't want to burn my... Yeah, that's too hot. I gotta lower that, because that is definitely hot. I think. <laughs> I can't tell. Let's close this up. Uh, this is what I use to cut my um, foam sheets. Foam works. You can get this on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby. I can never tell which way my glue gun is. But I know on high it comes out fast and on low it comes out slow. All right, let's pray. Pray with me. Don't melt my wax. I don't want to redo that. Hmm. I can't tell. Yeah, that's high. <laughs> I don't know how to work my glue gun, people. All right, you guys tell me, because I don't know. Okay, so see how it shows the H? If it shows the H, does that mean it's on high? Or if it's on the L, which covered, does that mean it's low? I get confused on that. And uh, I'm just going to go for it. I don't want to melt my wax or my saran wrap. All right, I'm just going to go for it. We're going to go back over. Yeah, is it melting it? wax paper. I feel like that's hot. Yeah. I can't tell. <laughs> and you know what? I'm just going to get me one that just, just says low. Take care of that problem. So again, I don't want my wax going through, so I'm just covering the sides of this. All right, we're gonna leave that. Well, let me know, because I still get confused and I'll still forget. <laughs> All right, and so once my wax is melted, I will be right back. All over my jacket. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna add some model magic clay to this to add some crust. Okay, so I am using model magic clay, and you can get this on Amazon or at Walmart, Walmart Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's biscuit, bisque. I always say things wrong, <laughs> uh, but that's the color I'm using. So I'm just gonna take some out. I'm really hoping this comes out. You wanna warm that clay up in your hand. Sorry, I'm a little crooked here. Warm it up in your hand. And I'm gonna roll it into a log. I'm gonna flatten it out with my roller. Make sure that your area is clean because Model Magic Clay will pick up all the debris. Like I got stuff everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna roll it to the side to make it wider. Let it go, let it go. Totally up to you. 
And then I'm gonna bring this over and I'm just gonna lay it so it hangs over and I'll trim it underneath. And I start just putting it on here. Just push this down. You can go ahead and trim the extra clay off if you want. I'm just gonna leave it there though. And then around the outside, let's trim it down. So I'm just gonna turn it over and I'm gonna trim around I'm leaving it a little bit bigger than the actual tin. Wait, what are you doing over there? And then where you left off, you want to try to blend that in. But that's okay, we're going to paint this too. And then I just took my finger and I put my finger, I spaced it, put my finger in, and then I just shaped it around the finger and then pulled my finger out to give it that. I like them like this, so I'm doing it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again right next to it. You're gonna have to go back a couple times just to make sure it stays. See, because I keep pushing it down. And that's how I shaped it. I'm going to do that all the way around. Then I kind of pinched it over here in the middle of each one to really make sure it's going to stay. Okay, so do that all the way around. So that's what we're going to do. grab another piece. So my wax is all melting. Well, it's all melted. And I think I might try to use these this pastel uh, pastel color chalk uh, to put color in it because I don't have wax color um, stuff, which is what you really should use. Uh, food coloring won't work. I'm not sure about paint. Maybe if you have a oil-based paint. Most of my paint is water-based. What I do have an oil-based um, is not the color I need. Or you could just let it dry and probably paint over it. Like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying this. I've never tried it. I don't think I've seen anybody do it. Well, I don't think I haven't seen anybody use wax for a pie. So again, I'm just going to roll it. Let's go ahead and grab that pie. And I'm just gonna cut this, it's too long. And I'm gonna lay it down again. You could probably like, do that too. Oops, I just touched over there. Ah! 
in touch. Push that down, trim it underneath. We're gonna do the same thing. Try to blend that in where you cut it. folded it over right there. Ugh. That's okay. Let's do that one over. So again, we're just going to pinch and do this all the way around. it in. So I feel like these were smaller and I got bigger as I went along. So try to make sure that they're, you know, evenly. I'm not a baker. I'm going to try to be a fake baker. <laughs> and that's going to be So I'm going to let this dry and mix up some paint colors and figure that out. And then I'll be back to show you because we need to paint this first. This one's too big. We need to paint this first. I just want it to dry a little bit. But that's how I'm doing the crust all the way around. I'm going to let this dry while I mix up some paint and check on the um, wax and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you what I was doing. Uh, like I said, I'm using what I have. So this is the Dollar Tree wax candle. And I put this on my baking sheet with wax paper or tin foil and then parchment paper. I put that upside down uh, in the oven for at 185 for 15 minutes. It was soft enough to get out, so I just used a spoon. Use a strong with a handle because it does bend them. So get a strong handled one. I scooped it all out and then I came over to here. So I have water in the bottom of this pan. You guys, my, my backsplash isn't finished. That's the backsplash that's going up. Uh, so I have water in the bottom of the pan and uh, it's all, so I put it in a, um, this is uh, from your KitchenAids, you know, the metal tin or the metal pots. Uh, so I got water in the bottom pan uh, just a little bit on the bottom to steam it and then melted it down. Then I lowered the temp just to keep it so it's still liquefied. And I'm going to uh, try to add some color to it. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to try the chalk paint. I don't know how that's going to work, uh, but we'll find out. I just wanted to show you how I melted the wax down. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so um, I hope this works. So I did go ahead and put some paint around uh, the outs, the crust. It's not gonna stay that color. I just wanted to get something on it where you gotta come in and do shadowing and make it look more baked. Uh, and I just used uh, yellow, a little bit of milk chocolate, caramel, and <clears throat> light mocha. Uh, I mixed those together to come up with that kind of crust color, but we still gotta shadow it. I hit it with a blow dryer and um, I'm waiting for my wax to cool down because I don't want it to melt my clay either. That's probably why I've seen nobody do this. Oh, I left my, I left my, um, I had 
canister that, hold on, I left my spoon in the other room. Actually, I probably have some over here, hold on. All right. So, you want this to cool down. So this is the wax, and then what I did to get that coloring, which still isn't right, I'll probably end up having to try to paint over it. I don't know, I've never tried to paint wax, so can you paint wax? I don't know. Uh, so I took my chalk paint, and I used this like terracotta color. Where's my phone? Terracotta, orange, yellow, and I did a little bit of red until I came up with kind of this orangey pumpkin, pumpkin pie color. Because uh, food color is just, and you want to do that. You don't want to add that in. I just took my razor blade and just scraped piece, you know, I just did it so it all fall and crumbles like powder. Um, but you want to do that when this is a little cooled down. You don't want to do it while it's really hot. I only melted one candle and I'm not sure that's going to be enough. But I want this to be cool a little bit before I go ahead and pour it on there. And as I was sitting here waiting <laughs> and mixing paints, I looked over and it was getting hard. I said, oh my God, so I'm going to pour it now because I feel like it's it's good enough. I don't know if I have, I melted enough, but let's try. I can see all that coloring in the bottom. Let me stir it up just a little more. So it started getting hard, so I had to hurry up and steam it just a little bit to get it soft again. And I also added in some essential oil. I think I just did the orange. I added in um, some cinnamon essential oil so it smells really good. I gotta start pouring this because it's drying. Please be enough. So I think two candles would have brought it up a little higher. I should have melted two. I thought one would be enough. I'm just gonna push that in there. And I gotta let this dry now. And we'll, I'll be back when it's dry and see how it looks. I need more wax. You know why? Because that piece was chunky. Let me see if I can push that down. Should have took some of that clay out. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. It smells so good. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. Oh, I forgot. Oh, it just pulled that up. Did you see that? Let me get that out of there then. Oh, I don't know. You know why? Because this is warm. It's melting it. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> we'll pick out the little pieces that float up. That's probably why I've never seen anybody do this. And I'm not very even. I needed two candles, guys. You needed two. We're going to let this dry and see how it comes out. I can't do another candle because this one will be hard by then. So make sure you're melting enough wax. I'd say a candle and a half of the Dollar Tree candles. So maybe a whole candle and another half, but just melt two of them and then pour in what you need. So that's where we're at so far. I'm gonna let this dry. It's, it's too short a little bit, but we'll add some whipped cream or something around the sides and I'll be back. Okay, hi, I'm back. Oh, I just spilt it. All right, so this is looking very cool, but it did, the color is not really staying. So I'm just mixing it in with some pumpkin orange into the crust color I made. Hold on, I gotta get a wet wipe. I just, just spilt my paint. Um, and I don't know, I don't have, like I said, acrylic paint. Um, you probably should get the wax paint because the color should be into the wax. I don't know if I can paint on wax. I don't, I don't think so. But while it's still soft, I'm going to give it a try. I'm just gonna keep mixing it and mixing it until I get the color I want.
and I want to hurry up because I don't, I don't know if it's going to stick. It looks really cool though. I like, I like the wax. I just think you got to get the wax paint. Um, they're like drops that you can put into the wax while it's cooled down. And then that stays the actual, the whole wax thing will be that color. It's still not like orangey enough. Come on. But of course I don't have any and I'm impatient. <laughs> Woke up like I'm going to do, well I've been wanting to do a pie for a few days now. I've just been relocating my supply room in the basement to the garage. And holy crap, I have so much stuff. Never know what you have until you start moving it. All right, I'm just going to use this for now and start. I still don't think it's, I still think it needs to be a little bit more orange. But like I said, this does work. I'm loving the wax, but I really think instead of doing the paint and the chalk stuff, you need to get wax, or not wax, yeah, wax paint. Let's just go for it. Let me just see. It's still not really that pump, pumpkin pie color that I want. But this is going to take a few coats. And you really want to do this while this wax is still kind of soft. And again, it should be acrylic. I think like maybe an oil-based paint. And I don't, this I think is water-based. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I'm going to go ahead and order some of the wax paints so I can mix it in. And you don't have to do this part. Excuse me. So just try to cover up the wax. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I'll give it another coat and then I'll be back to see what it looks like. So it looks pumpkin pie enough for me. I can see like a hair or something in there. Oh, it's driving me crazy. There's a hair in my pie. <laughs> I think it's from me or the brush. I don't know. All right. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to give it another coat. And then I'll be back to finish it. Haha, -ha, I think it's cool. I'll be back. Okay, so this is looking so real. I can't believe it. I love it with the wax. I've never made a cake, or I mean a pie. Not even a real pie. So I'm pretty excited about this. So now what I'm doing is I'm going around and just trying to shadow around the crust to make it look more like baked. Um, so I'm using caramel, apple barrel caramel, antique white, light mocha, and a little of burnt umber. Or you can use um, the nutmeg. But I'm trying to, and you need some water and a paper towel. So I'm dipping it in my water, pat it down on your paper towel, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of that burnt umber, dab it, 
and then I'm going around the crust and I'm going like a little bit on the, you know, grooves. I'm trying to give it more of a burnt crust look. I'm not a pie baker, <laughs> but I love, I love, love, love the, the, um, wax pie. It looks just like a pie. And it took color. So you got to do that though when you're a little runny. Um, wax is still kind of soft. So just go around and shadow it. Give it some shading. I'm not that good at um, mixing paint colors and stuff, so. Maybe you guys can make it look more realistic. I like it to have more of a, you know, more of a cooked pie crust look. Because <laughs> that's what my pie probably would come out of the oven as, burnt. <laughs> so just play around, get your coloring, your pie crust the way you want it. Stop here because I don't know if I'm making it worse or what. <laughs> so now it's got that baked crust look. It looks just like a freaking pie. All right. So now I want to add, and you can leave it just like this. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit because I should have had the filling up a little higher, and I didn't melt enough wax down. So I'm going to. Grabbed, and I already have this mixed up from previous projects, so I'm not going to mix more. But lightweight spackling, you're going to need lightweight spackling. You can get that on Amazon or Lowe's. Oh, shoot, one of these was lightweight spackling, and one of them, that's not the one I want. Why did I bring this in here? Ugh. I think this is the one I want. Yes. So it's just lightweight spackling. Put it in a bowl with some white paint and mix it up. White light, white, white light spackling looks white, but it's kind of a light gray color, and it's going to dry that. So make sure you got white paint in there. Add a little bit, about a teaspoon of cornstarch, just to thicken it up a little. But like I said, I already had mine done. So you're going to need a piping bag and a tip. I'm going to go ahead and... Sometimes I cut the tips too big. The piping bag pull too big. Push it down nice and tight. Come on, get in there. Okay, I'm gonna just move this over for a second. And I'm going to use a cup to hold that. I'm going to put that spackling into the piping bag. And if it's still not white enough, you can paint um, over it when it's dry. that 
in there. I hate using sparkling. It's so messy. I'm so messy with it. <laughs> Push that down. That should be enough. Yep, see, I didn't get it down enough. Now it's going to get all over me. So push it down in your bag. Twist that. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of this around the pie. So I'm just going to do like little dollops. I don't want them very big. I'm just going to do small little ones. Look like little stars. Huh. I don't really like it with that on it. I liked it better without it. All right, because it, it the stars remind me of Fourth of July. <laughs> Should have grabbed a different tip. And I might just wipe this all off once this is dry. I'm going to go in a little bit more. I'm trying to take away that star shape. I don't like the star shape. I'm just going to pull them upwards. Going right over those. Whoops, I just did that one. Fill it again. God, where did I start? I feel like I should have been around by now. Did it go all the way around? Yeah. All right. I think I went all the way around. All right, that, that's not the greatest, but you could do a little dollop in the middle, but I'm not going to because I really didn't want that on there. <gasps> but that's the pie. It looks just like a pie. Love it. All right, so also, I mean, I might as well do this while I am got it out. I was going to do milk and cookies, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. So I'm going to show you how I did my little milk, which is right here. Are those jars so cute? I love them. So these are from Amazon. They come with the solid lid in light purple lavender. And it also came with the lid with the hole in it for the straw. So it came with the two lids, the straws. And I got a case of these on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Let me move this over. And once all this spackling is dry, I'll go over it with some Mod Podge and add some diamond dust glitter or glitter to it. I'm gonna have to let that dry. 
So this is so easy, guys. You could just use white paint and pour it in there, but I got my spackling out already. So I'm gonna take a foam brush. I just use the foam brushes. And I'm gonna grab the spackling. And start pushing it down in there. Let me grab a bunch of it. Get in there. And you wanna just spread it around. I don't know if this one's long enough. Like I said, you could just pour your paint in here and turn it around and drip it upside down. So it goes all the way up to the top. I'm trying not to leave those little swoosh lines from the, but that's okay. I can just go over this again when it dries. You wanna give this a couple days to dry though. So I pretty much got it covered. But I got it everywhere, so hold on. I told you, I'm so messy with spackling. Messy, messy girl. I'm a messy girl in a messy world. It's fantastic. <laughs> I can't believe I just sang that. All right, hold on. It's all over me. <coughs> all right, so then I'm gonna grab a paper towel wipe up the stuff around the bottle. Go ahead and wipe down the little bit around the top. We want to leave a little bit of a clear spot there. I'm going to grab a wipe. Clean it up nice. And you have milk. Then I did hot glue because I didn't want my stick. It was still wet. I didn't, of course, I don't let mine dry. I'm too impatient. So I just took my hot glue and I made sure the stick didn't go, the straw, not the stick, the straw didn't touch the bottom. And I kind of hot glued it into place. So I wanted the stick to be up higher. The straw, I don't know why I keep saying stick. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. Those, um, I love these little things though. They're so cute. Love them. And again, if you have like little, so you can kind of see that, um, just wait for this to dry. I give it two days and then you can do it again. Or again, just pour paint. You can mix Mod Podge and some um, caulk, stir it up so it's runny, and pour that in there. Or you can just simply use white paint. And then you have your little thing of milk. All right, so you have a pie, pumpkin pie with some milk. And actually, I think I might sprinkle. I wonder if I have fall sprinkles. Let's see. Where are my sprinkles? That's the question. I never know where I put things. I don't see them. Uh, where did I put them? Well, I'm going to have to find them somewhere. lost them and I found them before. It's a huge bag. I don't know how I keep losing. Oh, I see them. I'm getting ready to do a cake in my design group and this is the stuff I'm using. Ah. Hold on. Oh, you guys, I want to show you my gingerbread cake too. Oh, please don't break. Let's see. Yes. 
So I have these fake sprinkles, and these are from, oh, where did I get these? I'll put it in descriptions. You can get them on Etsy and Amazon too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of these right in my lightweight spackle. Why not? My husband loves anything with sprinkles. <laughs> And like I said, once this is dry, I'll uh, go over it and add some glitter with my Mod Podge and glitter. Just a little. So there's the tutorial for milk and pie. All right, I'm gonna show you my gingerbreads because they're so cute. I did these in my design group. So here's this one. Isn't that so cute? So uh, this is a gingerbread cake I made in my design group. And this one I did go all the way around. Now I was trying to figure this out when I first did it. The, sec the next time I do this, it'll be a lot better. Isn't that so adorable? And I did a pink one. Let me grab it. This is the pink one. Aren't they adorable? I love them. And this one, I did candies in the back of lollipops. Whoa. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And don't forget to uh, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a safe, blessed day, and I'll see you when I see you.